I'm going to show you how you can even make finer brows more full. But the first thing I want to do here is just lift her brow. This is a shape that's very common. It's a rounded eyebrow. But you'll find just by lifting this inner corner first, not only will your brows look more full when I'm finished, you'll look more youthful. So what I'm going to do here is take these pointed tweezers. I'm going to come under the brow and create a straight line. This can hurt a little bit more than normal because it's an area that you probably haven't plucked before. So I'm coming under here with pointed tweezers and creating a straight line. The reason I'm creating a straight line is because when we're younger, our brows tend to be high. As we get older, it drops down. So by lifting it, with taking just a few hairs out, you will see the difference. What's so amazing about pointed tweezers, especially these ones, they're surgical tweezers and the sharp part never touches your skin. You use the back of them. And the thing is you can come under the brow and create that straight line with one or two plucks. They get every single hair. So you can see, even though it's so minute, just the difference, that subtle difference of lifting that part of the eyebrow compared to the other brow. So what I'm going to do now is do some very fine feather technique hairs through her brow. I'm using a gel brow colour that matches her hair colour exactly. And this is one of the sharpest angle brushes you'll ever use. This is another tip. Before you start doing any form of fine hair work, even eyeline work, don't use the face as a testing pad. Use the back of your hand. And what I mean by that, if you can achieve the finest strand by strand hairs here, you'll be able to do them there. If you can't get them thin here, you're not going to be able to get them thin on the face. So just always test the brush on the back of your hand. So I'm not going to go over where her hairs are. I'm just going to give her the very, very, very finest of individual hairs through here. And what also this will do is by lowering this arch, getting rid of the fullness on the brow bone, her eyes will look more lifted. I also love when brows start really softly here. I love it when it's sort of lighter and then it goes darker. I think it's just got that little bit more subtleness to it. Great thing about this, if you make a mistake, take it off, start again. Don't keep adding hairs. Less is best. It looks like it's very time consuming and I won't lie, it's very precise work, but the great thing about these any gel eyeliner or gel pencil, they're waterproof. If you make a mistake, if you do a strand and it's just too thick or too clumpy, before you remove it and start again, just take a clean angle brush with some foundation on it. I'll show you. And what you do with foundation on the brush, put some foundation, or even a bit of concealer that matches your skin tone. And what you do is you slice through the thick strand that you've accidentally painted. And you can start to see how natural this brow actually looks. Also what you can do to help thicken up your brow is just to define this last three quarter part of the brow. I don't always love having the brow heavy here. I like to keep those strands quite feathery. But what you can do is have it nice and feathery underneath but then with the same colour, just above the brow, very softly define it. So just give it a nice edge. I know that some of us are taught, like I was, don't ever pluck your hairs above your brow. And I always say, if you're not sure it's part of your brow or part of your hairline, you may need to remove them.
If you're confident and want to take this brow one step further, take a really light eyebrow powder and just define the bottom line here. Just give that a little bit of fill, just at the roots. You don't have to carry the brush all the way through, just through here to give it some definition. I'm just going to sharpen my edge. And then the last trick is I'm going to take a brow mascara and lightly lighten her brows. These are great because not only do they lighten them, they actually will hold the brow hairs in place. So just lightly through your natural brow, only if your brow hair is looking a little bit darker. So now I'm just going to finish the other side. And as you can see, you can still get away with making fine brows thicker without it looking fake.